Hi, my name is Michael Harrington. I'm um, essentially a retired person now, but I uh, enjoyed a wonderful career working in museums and uh, cultural institutions across Canada. And all of that was really based on training that I received in southern Germany from 1976 until 1980. At the time, when we decided to leave Canada and go to Germany in, in 1976, it, um, it seemed like a risk because I was working at the time. I, I had uh, left university, was supporting myself working as a, as a carpenter. Lots of disposable income and uh, I gave that up to make 150 marks a month as, a, as an apprentice. Uh, six German lessons before, we, uh, before we, we went off to Germany and it was, it was pretty hilarious because uh, we landed in, um, in Freudenstadt in Schwarzwald. So as you may know, the German in the middle of the Black Forest isn't quite the same German that they teach you in the, uh, in the evening uh, schools in, uh, in Ontario. The, the dialect, Schwäbisch is a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful language, it's very rich and it's, uh, it's very colorful. I guess the biggest challenge was probably language in terms of being able to, to understand and comp uh, comprehend exactly what my master and the other, other people I worked with wanted me to do. Uh, right at this moment, I can still recall the smell of the workshop. We had a pine floor and uh, in the winter time, we would uh, sweep the floor and then sprinkle water on the floor to just keep the humidity up enough. The, the, it was heated with a big wood-fired oven, so you could smell the, a little bit of the wood smoke. You could smell the wet pine from the floor and of course the, uh, the smell of the wood you were working with. And the most important piece of documentation you have is that lump that's on your bench in front of you because there are marks from the maker that was working on them and marks from the people that have intervened in the, in the, in the hundreds of years since that, that piece has been made. You have to look for those, uh, for those marks and understand the language. And that's probably the biggest gift that I, that I received from, uh, from my training with Herr Rotfeld. When I think back, um, of course, the, the technical basis that I, that I learned in, in Germany was very, very important to me and helped me greatly in my career. But uh, we also made tremendous linkages to different families in the small town in, in Freudestadt and Byersbrunn, where, uh, where we lived. And uh, those, those linkages are still alive. 